Hi guys, Shooting Full Holzer, and today we're going to talk about another interesting rifle. Today I have the Chiana. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, what is a Chiana? Alright, so a Chiana is a Diana that is designed in Germany but made in China. So, Chiana. So it's the Chiana 250. <laughs> It's uh, the Diana 250, and um, <clears throat> you know they're pretty much on sale uh, for about $130, and they come with some pretty cool things in the package. It comes with a scope, it comes with a bullseye scope mount and rail and or rings, and um, comes with a pellet pen. Comes with one of those uh, metal silhouette targets, you know the one where you shoot four. And then you shoot the fifth one and resets it. Uh, that's out in the yard. Sorry. Been messing with it. But you know the ones I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> so in the beginning I was shooting the rifle with the bullseye. But I'll explain in a minute why I decided to go to one inch rings. Anyway, let's talk about the actual rifle. Fit and finish is very nice in this rifle. I... Uh, if you didn't know that this was made in China, you would think it was a Diana for sure. Uh, very good stock, thumb hole stock, I'm dexterous. The rifle bluing is, is very well done, very nice, dark and rich, I mean, you know, well done rifle. I love the weight of this rifle, it's not very heavy and it's not very light, it's just right, basically. Some people have said that the stock is a little bit too long and not made for shorter frame shooters, and I disagree. I think that your medium-sized person can easily handle this gun, and the stock is not too long for them. I think it's just right. So, <clears throat> um, for adults, it's definitely fine, in my opinion. The scope that comes with uh, the rifle... Uh, that's packaged or included in the package is a 3 to 9 by 32 with a um, parallax adjustment up front or AO uh, adjustment up front. Up front. And uh, like I said, I decided to put, uh, you know, swap the uh, bullseye um, scope mount for 1 inch rings. Now, the other thing I really like about the scope is that the turrets are toolless so you can just use your fingers to move up and down and adjust the scope the trigger on the rifle is not a to 6 or a to 5 trigger it is a basic um, I don't know if it's a two-stage trigger I think it's just a you know um, maybe a one stage but uh, it's a pretty decent crisp trigger, I wouldn't say it's the best or oh wow, but it snaps pretty decent and seems to be pretty predictable in that sense. The trigger is a little stout. Um, I haven't measured the poundage on the trigger and the velocity of the uh, air rifle. And there's a reason for that. Uh, the main reason is that this is an entry air rifle. The package all included I think was about $130. So inexpensive. Um, but what I wanted to do was not nitpick at little things here and there. I mean, what does the rifle f feel like as a whole, you know? And uh, the whole package is, you know, it's pretty impressive. I do like it. For $130, it's definitely something that, yeah, I, I would bother spending my money on. If you just need a, a decent air rifle to plink and just, you know, shoot stuff at, and you know, shoot at stuff, I mean... Um, and definitely for hunting, it's like it's good hunting rifle. Um, what it is is that it is very pe pellet picky. Uh, has more than enough power to take small game, twenty two caliber. You can also pick uh, one seven seven, I think. So, very good rifle in that that respect. Now, where it gets kind of interesting, and why I decided to st stop using the bullseye mount, is that. Um, in the beginning when I first started shooting, now I've only probably put about 200 pellets through this uh, air rifle. So it's still in the breaking in process and there's still room 
for accu more accuracy to come out of the right rifle. But um, <clears throat> I actually thought the scope was broken in the beginning because I was getting shots that I just couldn't understand. So I'll show you this target here first. I don't know how well you can see that, but I used uh, Meister Kogan's here. Uh, these are Arbor, uh, RWS um, uh, Super Domes here on the uh, on the right, and I have JSB Jumbo Heavies. I have um, Premier Domed Ultra Heavy, which is from Crossman. Now. See these two here, and one, two, three. That's from uh, RWS Meister Cool Guns. That is a wad cutter pellet, and they're pretty much kind of close to a match grade. They shoot very consistently, almost in every other air rifle. I mean, really nice groupings. When I saw groupings like that, I was like, "What happened? Did the scope break?" And then I started shooting other groups and they started performing decently. But I'd carry on shooting certain pallets or even with these pallets and all of a sudden I'd have two, three wider ones. And, you know, it just didn't seem too consistent. It seemed like it was all over the place. So that's why I decided to change out the bullseye. And I realized, you know, I noticed my, my groups tightening. What I realized is that the, the intention is good on this kind of... Um, you know, system. It's, you know, stopping or helping to stop the vibration going to the scope and hopefully, you know, breaking your scope for you. So it's like a shock absorber for the scope. The other thing is that this is designed to work with a barrel droop of your rifle. So the back end is a little bit higher than the front. So it gives it that angular pitch. These are most break barrel rifles will suffer from barrel droop, which is basically the barrel is slightly at a downward angle from the tube. So that's why your scope is dead straight, but your barrel's aiming down a little bit. So a lot of times you have to shim the back end of the scope to give it that angle and kind of follow the trajectory of the barrel. Uh, so that's what barrel droop is. And so this is meant to counteract the barrel droop and the, you know, the, the violent vibrations going to the scope. But, I don't think it works as well as it was intended to work. So anyway, you can see here, exact same pellets, Meister Kuglins, RW Superdome, Jumbo Heavies, and Premier Dome Ultra Heavies. Same order, and you can see what I mean about the groups tightening up. So that's the second. And this is right out of the box second groups of those pellets um, I mean uh, basically, yeah, basically these now the third group but without the bullseye this is uh, one inch rings and you can see here these monster cougars how they're starting to group but I decided to try all sorts of other pellets so I tried all sorts of other stuff some were working okay-ish some weren't and I basically narrowed it down to three pallets that were being more consistent. The RWS uh, Silver Points, right down here, and the Gamo, I call them red tips, but it's not their fire tips or something. It's basically comparable to the um, Predator Polymags with a red tip, but they're made by Gamo. And those do very decent. Uh, the ones that I found to be the most decent right now are the RWS um, Super H Point. Uh, I don't really use those pellets so often. And um, just depends on the gun and how much they like it. But this gun really seems to like it. So I've shot more and more other groupings with this pellet. And it seems to do very, very well. The... Rifle, in my opinion, as a whole, it's a very good rifle. It does very well. You do have to break it in. And you are going to have to get used to some things about the rifle. The Let's say the, the trigger pull, you know, maybe feels a little gritty. It felt pretty gritty in the beginning. Um, but all in all, it's a very accurate, very decent rifle. 
I wouldn't say super accurate, but it's, it's decently accurate. More than enough for plinking, more than enough for hunting, and, uh, you know, it's definitely a, a rifle that, for the money, is, uh, you know, very, very well built. And plus you get a couple of goodies, like I said, a pellet pen, and you get one of those uh, steel, you know, silhouette targets with it. And, uh, you know, I think I'm going to use this for a different rifle one day, and it might work better with a different scope, who knows. So, like I always say, guys, um, pick up an air rifle, a Chiana, go out in the uh, woods and put up a target, and shoot them full of holes.